the sneaky, but smart, place millionaires keep their money. Smart asset. Where do millionaires keep their money? High net worth individuals put money into different classifications of financial and real assets in including stocks, mutual funds, retirement accounts and real estate. Most of the 20.27 million millionaires in the U.S. did not continue reading right pointing arrow the post where do millionaires keep their money? appeared first on Smart Asset blog. Below are your comments. I used to live in Menlo Park, California and pretty much anyone who owns a home, works, and over 35 is a malt. I millionaire. It really means nothing because we all still have to work. When you have $30 million which is hard, it's a little different. Doors open that aren't open to the average mass affluent. That's page. This is fantasy. Everyday millionaires have between 1 to 3 million and are still working. They are millionaires next door. They don't have safety deposit boxes all over the world stuffed WI. TH cash in local currencies. They have dry cleaning businesses, multi-family rental properties and index fund. A millionaire cannot afford a private jet that is used in the article photo. Even someone with a $10 million net worth would have trouble justifying a private jet or net jet membership. Dot. Private business jets are functions of large cash flows from $1 billion plus enterprises. The bottom line is that when the public debt has passed $31.4 trillion, if there were no millionaires purchasing treasury bills etc., and a stock market worth approximately $98.5 trillion U.S. Dollars in 2022 the U.S. government would have no more credibility than that of any bankrupt third W. Orld Sue. Next news. Looking for passive income? This dividend portfolio will pay you monthly. Benzinga. In the world of dividend stocks, most companies follow a quarterly distribution schedule. Imagine a scenario where, instead of waiting for a dividend check every three months, you are getting G paid every month. It's entirely feasible. A select group of companies pays monthly dividends. Realty Income Corp. NYSE Smiley Face, for instance, has been doing so for decades. Because tenants typically pay rent every month, real estate has been a popular sector for investors looking to earn passive monthly income. Below are your comments. CDs pay 5.4%. No risk. Yes, but that's short term for perhaps a year with no chance of low taxed capital gain. Where's your sense of adventure? You're aware that bonds are at least as risky as good quality companies. I think more so. Inflation is the culprit with fixed income. Your choice. The longer you hold good coup. If the annual average increase in stock price plus the dividend don't exceed real inflation, you're still losing money. This portfolio will pay a minuscule dividend compared to other just as safe options. 
My dividend portfolio pulls in just over 10% with very little risk. Do your own research as these fools are just going with the same old tired things. I get 2.5% daily from the arbitrage account, $4,000 monthly leveraging my excellent credit, 6% for F. Un money in the saving account, $1,000 a month from a financial company in LA, 5% a day from the e-com. MERS business profit run by another company. All these businesses required $0 investment except F. Next news. Harvard Business School Dean Srikant Dater comes under attack from seven tenured profs. Poets and Quan. T.S. Harvard Business School Dean Srikant Dater Seven tenured professors at Harvard Business School, Rima. Ining anonymous out of fear of retaliation by Dean Srikant Dater, say his handling of the Francesca. Gino case has rocked. The post-Harvard Business School Dean Srikant Dater comes under attack from seven tenured profs Appy. A.R.E.D. first on Poets and Quants. Below are your comments. Easy peasy to address. Simply replicate the study, data, and results. Understand there's no magic genie that's going to come and change those numbers. Win or lose, the truth is there. Experts should always be challenged. HBS has graduated too many graduates who have gone on into business and then government to create PO. Lices that have been detrimental to the welfare of the average Jane and Joe. Look at the transfer of wealth from the poor to the rich in the last 50 years. Alleged dishonesty in publishing is not sue. The two facts, no one fired and these seven being fearful speaks reams about issues in academe. The professors won't profess and the admins turn a blind eye to infractions that in the real world t. Hey call out others to be fired, scorned and banished to the flaming pit. Many of our institutions of Questi. University profs live in a bubble protected from the real world and consequences for despicable acti. Ons. Accountability is their biggest fear. Harvard's declining fast. People are leaving its board, donors pulling money, no longer elite but kaput. Next news. Billionaire Ken Fisher is ready for the bull market's next leg up. Here are two stocks he's heavily invested in. Tip ranks. Ken Fisher has a problem with the Fed, decrying it as idiotic. And investors, says the billionaire. Stock picker, should not pay too much attention to its announcements. Maybe you're still worried about what the Fed says, wonders the Fisher Investments founder. The September minutes warned of higher rates for longer. But here's a little secret, the Fed never has a clue what it will do. In May 2022, Fed Chairman Jerome Powell said, a 75 basis point increase is not something that the C. Oh, meet. Below are your comments. Yes, Fisher does better when you do better, but they do just fine while your returns plummet. That's the part they don't say. The market will come down further before going back up. It is too early.
Some investors been talking about an uptrend since beginning of this year, so far is still on a down trend. Until the trend is finally broken, it is still too early. Just because one investor says so doesn't mean it is Alra. 5% M. Thanks can all be parked here for a while. Stay away. If you ever indicate the slightest interest in Fisher Investments they will hound you foe. Are the rest of your life. So you'll feel idiotic for ever having given them any attention. Dot 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 dot. I don't see any real improvement in the markets until the Democrats are out. You can't destroy fossil fuels and expect the country to be okay. It's all tied in. Regulation after regulation. Everything they do damages the economy and the market. Next news. Netflix subscribers surge as company announces price hikes in some regions. Yahoo Finance. Netflix reported earnings after the bell on Wednesday. Here's what to know. Below are your comments. I wish consumers knew just how much power they have. If everyone commenting on this and or everyone in the US just cancelled their subscription for 90 days until prices were magically back to normal. Netflix WOU. LD quickly learn. Unfortunately, we are too busy fighting each other to stick together. I cancelled the $20 a month plan when my daughter in college out of state could no longer use it. I have saved $140 so far and I don't miss it, and neither does my daughter, who did not create her O. W N account to pay for like Netflix thought would happen. I remember when it was I think $8.99 or $9.99 and they did a price hike of $1, everyone was like it I s just a $1. I was like today is just one dollar, but it is just the beginning. Here we are many hikes later and they are not done. I'm pretty sure they have a plan to keep increasing until they really end. There is a breaking point. Cable channels and satellite providers are way too expensive. I cut the cord for those a long time ago. Still have Netflix and Oda channels to get local. Don't watch much Netflix but a movie once a week is cheaper through Netflix than going out. They get into that $3. Next news. Warren Buffett's daughter-in-law gave him her financial statements as a Christmas gift one year. I just wanted to show him, look, we're doing good. Benzinga. Berkshire Hathaway Inc. Chairman and CEO Warren Buffett is no ordinary gift recipient. Known for his extraordinary success in investing, he has remained one of the world's wealthiest peep. Le for years. Shopping for a family member is often challenging, but when that family member is Buffett, the Dillum. Ma becomes even more unique. What can you possibly give a billionaire who already has everything? Mary Buffett who was married to Warren Buffett's son Peter, faced this question during their first C. Below are your comments. A subtle but powerful affirmation of Buffett's philosophy of enabling others to make their own way are other than providing them with unearned success. Very powerful word of wisdom. Dot.
I can't disagree with the philosophy. It's the old adage, isn't it? Give a man a fish, and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, and you feed him for a lifetime. You're teaching your child, or children, to fish. This is the only true obligation a parent has to their child. To raise them. That's his style, but I'm hoping to provide my kid with unearned success, but raise them well enough. So that they maximize it whilst not having to struggle. But perhaps not doing so well with grammar and usage. Next news. Gold is approaching all-time highs but it's, not the time, to buy, strategist says. Yahoo Finance. The precious metal has often been considered a safe haven asset for investors. But Lee Munson, the CIO at Portfolio Wealth Advisors, says the high-rate environment makes it unutter. Active. Below are your comments. Yeah, don't buy. Because he doesn't want the spot price to increase, and wants to accumulate gold at lower prices him. Self. Or maybe he's a spokesperson for those institutional firms that want to accumulate as much as possible. E. Until they get their quota that they want. Before they let. If anyone believes we have positive real rates, I have a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. The Fed lies. The CPI is much higher than the stated rate. Munson. Gold is money. Everything else is credit. Well duh. Buy low, sell high is the old adage. It's a good time to sell if you bought when it was cheaper and now it is near its all-time high. But bear in mind that there is a federal 28% long-term capital gain tax, not to mention state and low. Cal taxes, much higher than the 15% to 20% long-term capital gain tax on financial assets. If held for la. Next news. Tesla earnings slide 37%. Cybertruck coming but Elon Musk issues this warning. Investors Business Daily. Tesla earnings in Q3 fell more than expected amid weaker deliveries and ongoing price cuts. But Cybertruck deliveries will start next month. Below are your comments. EVs will never overtake ICE cars. They cost too much to build, environmentally not friendly and are not affordable to the masses we though. Would a government welfare check to subsidies it. They also have no parts market and no used car market since hardly anyone would buy a used electric car not knowing W. It was so obvious they were going to miss, given the way Musk has been lowering prices to prop up the Mond. Even with this new, the stock has barely moved lower. Market has lowered the earnings tier. Hypes on Cybertruck production, hypes on bottomed margin. Note that past earnings beats ends up with stock going down. This earnings miss ends up with stock staying up and going up? Lol. Manipulation by market makers and big hedge funds? How can margins botto? Well don't give up on Elon pretty soon he is going to be charging Tesla owners a dollar just to open. The door rolling on the floor laughing.
Next news. Mortgage rates see two-day spike into new record territory. Investopedia. Rates on 30-year mortgages have surged another quarter point, pushing the 30-year average well above its recent 23-year high. Rates jump for almost every loan type. Below are your comments. It's remarkable how housing prices are hanging in despite the fact that mortgage payments on new pure chases have essentially doubled. Something has to give. When I paid off my under 3% mortgage I knew it was a bargain, but no mortgage payment is even better. Dot 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 dot. Guessing the people who complained 7% was too high and thought they would wait for lower rates are n. O.T. happy. Fed continues to control the narrative on rates and markets, which allow the 20 to 30-somethings to G.E. T.N. while buy-in is attractive. Although there was no better time to invest than 2020. Woulda tripled investments in three years. Take XOM for example. $30-ish 2020 and now over $100 with a decent divide. At this point, anyone who has a paid-off house, even if it is a small one, is very lucky because the why do not have to worry about those payments, only save money for paying the taxes. Next news. NVIDIA thought it found a way around U.S. export bans of AI chips to China. Now Biden is closing the loophole and investors aren't happy. Fortune. Billionaire founder Jensen Huang can no longer sell two lucrative chips specially designed for the C. Heine's market, because they might help boost its military capabilities. Below are your comments. $400 million in quarterly sales are in China out of $13.5 billion total quarterly revenues. That is only 2.96%. And people are selling because of this? $1.6 billion in annual sales is too. 0.7% of NVIDIA's $60 billion in the next 12 months. That's not going to wreck NVIDIA and some of that $1.6 billion is computer graphics chips and Automo. Tive chips, so it's likely to cut NVIDIA sales by less than 2%. Additionally, Elon Musk and others are crying that T. China's only way out is to become a true republic, allowing all political parties. Hong Kong would not be a problem if China was a true republic country. When PRC found in 1949 as a republic, it promised all people and political parties to run the count R. Y together. But CCP changed all that in just. Next news. Rite Aid is closing more than 150 stores. Here's where they are. CBS Money Watch. Rite Aid said it plans to shutter 154 locations across the nation, with many of the stores slated foe. Our closure in California and Pennsylvania. Below are your comments. A list of those stores closing in CA would be nice. I have difficulty in understanding why pharmacies are being sued for filling a doctor's prescriptio. N. Something is wrong here. Guess the trial lawyers are just going where they see the money. I would like to serve on a jury hearing this sort of litigation.
As an NPA I don't see what the closing of Rite Aid stores has anything to do with how states are per sieved politically. Seems like comments on here are always wanting to point the finger at something and make it politica. L. Too bad all the wasted hate energy couldn't be directed towards working toge. I never understood why America needed so many drugstores. They are, essentially, the same. But you'd see a Walgreens, a CVS and a Rite Aid on the same block. Guess it couldn't last forever. Next news. 2024 Social Security Tax Limit. Investopedia. The federal government annually limits how much of your earnings are subject to the Social Security tax. Below are your comments. But why haven't they lifted the exemption on what people pay taxes on, during retirement, before th. EY are taxed on their SS income? Still 25k individual, 32k for couples. That should be moved up as well. Hasn't changed since 1979. Exclamation mark. It ain't right. Social security benefits should not be taxed. There should be no social security tax limit. The more you make from the system, the more you pay into the system. The tax limit only helps the rich. It may be because the Republicans are too busy trying to cut taxes on their friends and donors, and themselves, to give much thought into what would be fair for the rest of us. Someone has to pay taxes and they want to make sure it isn't them. Next news. Tesla misses on earnings. CEO Musk frets about growth in the economy. Barons.com Electric vehicle giant Tesla reported third quarter results on Wednesday evening that missed Wall Street estimates, underscoring that the pain of price cuts isn't over. Tesla's travails show that it will be tough going for traditional automakers trying to build compent ing EV businesses. Tesla shares fell almost 5% in regular trading, closing at $242.68. Below are your comments. Musk should be fretting about the competition, not the economy. Welcome to real competition for a change Elon. No more predatory obscene pricing for obscene margins. If you follow Elon's history, he prefers to enter markets where there is no competition and where go. Vernment subsidies are plentiful. He is going to struggle in a competitive marketplace. Look out below. Next news. Dow Jones Futures. Tesla skids on earnings dive. Cybertruck. Grave. Netflix jumps late. Investors Business Daily. Stocks tumbled Wednesday amid soaring treasury yields. Tesla earnings fell. Cybertruck deliveries loom but Musk tempered expectations. Below are your comments. It's curious that anti-union Americans want an anti-union American company like Tesla to fail. What gives? Even if the next president rolls back fuel mileage mandates, it will not matter. EVs built by BYD are already hitting price points that are equal or lower to that of gas vehicles. 
cheering for. That Tesla is the but ugliest truck I ever did see. Cybertruck deliveries will start in November, but CEO Elon Musk tempered expectations, saying we dug our grave with the complex vehicle. Next news. 12 companies, including NVIDIA, will double their profit, analysts say. Investors Business Daily. Third quarter S&P 500 earnings reporting season. Kicking into high gear now. Will largely be a snooze. But there are some exceptions. Below are your comments. With the PE on NVDA, it better more than double its profit or that stock will be getting a haircut. Love that NVDA is dipping so I can accumulate some at a greatly reduced price. NVIDIA's last quarter showed $2.70 share earnings and the next four quarters are expected to be even. Better and estimates are $12 to $14.50 per share earnings in the next year. If the PE drops in half to 50, that means a stock price of $600 to $725 per shish. Shame on NVIDIA and AMD to sales and support China Communist! Exclamation mark. Dot. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.